Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I'm Captain Nips, where today we have yet another very special episode of Punch Club. Today's Punch Club, we're going to focus on mediums. So I've taken one of the quintessential medium X. You're my favorite, the Hunchback. Specifically the laser variant. And I have upgraded it, so to speak. We're going to have to take this all the way up to war to make this fit. We're going to go to Hunchback Town. Hunchback Town has the following change. In the 4P, which is the laser variant. Oh, went through that a little too fast. Sorry. Hunchback. We've replaced all of the lasers on the variant with smalls so that they can be used in melee. Some of you may be thinking, hey, you gave up a bunch of mediums for small lasers, that means you're a bit under ton. Yes, yes we are. So, in the spirit of trying to take up some of that tonnage and also staying somewhat within the hard point arrangement of what the mech had, we added some small lasers back in. So there's one in the head, there's still the six in the hunch, and I have three small lasers in each arm. Some of you may be doing the math and thinking, wait a minute, you're still under tons. You have spare weight. You are correct. There is a problem that this game has, at least this beta, that when I tried to fill what would have been all the spare tonnage with more small lasers, which turns out is two more in each arm, the game has problems displaying that in match. And also then it causes the mechs to no longer be able to move which is a very strange bug. I'm not sure why. I didn't tinker with any of the rest of the definition files for this mech. It's got the same armor ratings, all the same heat sinks are there exactly as on the original 4P. Did not change any of the movement stuff, just changed the weapons loadout. And yet, for some reason, when you had 17 small lasers on the hunchback, it suddenly forgot how to be able to move. So, in the interest of actually having a video to show you that's fun and where my mechs, you know, walk around and punch things, I had to reduce a couple of lasers off of each arm. With that out of the way, let's get this lance set up. We're going to get right in on our hunches. Oh, there's so many puns I can be throwing out. Do you have a hunch? I got a hunch. Uh, Pilot-wise, we're going for piloting since I intend to be punching people. Blockade's a good choice. Sumo, we like Sumo just fine. But let's let him chill for a bit. At least a bit longer. Showboat and ooh, Mockingbird. Not great gunnery. It'll be interesting to see. I'm not sure how the game figures out when you're throwing a punch, how the weapons fire percentage chance to hit should work. In my mind, I would think that it would fire the guns as if you were using your gunnery instead of your piloting skill and only apply the piloting skill to the melee attack. This might actually be a decent way to show this because Blockade and Paradise have decent gunnery, Showboat and Mockingbird as per the last video very much do not. So we'll see how that goes. On the opposite side, we're going to line them up with something big and stupid that will easily outclass our little lance here. Jenner Kataro, quick draw of Victor. I feel like we may have fought that before, but let's roll that out anyway. And then as far as map goes, I've done the melee on the stacks in my original Centurion melee video, and I did Death Valley. Was it Death Valley? Yeah, it was Death Valley for the Atlas, ridiculous, roll you over, Punch Club, Punch Club, episode one. Uh, today, I think I'm going to skip Alpine River and River Crossing, because they're kind of, they're very similar maps in that they've got the river in the valley in the middle, and it's fine. I'm going to take my chances on Big Lock, because it does have the island in the middle with some rocky outcroppings, some plateaus that I can use as cover to get my forces up to where their forces will meet me, and then it will become a giant melee, which is what we want. Also, rainy day, because why not? I like the visuals. Now, if everything goes to plan, and 
and I did test this. We should just spawn into a match, as you would expect. And on the right hand side, once I select a mech, you will see all of the small lasers in the entire inner sphere mounted on a single mech. And in my case, four mechs. Here we go. Your turn. Looks good. There's our lands of hunchies. Blockade says, look at all those lasers. Now clearly the game has some problems. It, it, it was not expecting to have to manage this many. And I kind of don't. It, it's, yeah, that's, hey, beta. We're playing, we're playing with game files. You know, weird stuff is bound to happen. Speaking of weird stuff. All right, that wasn't very weird. That was just moving straight forward. There's literally nothing weird about that. Also, most of you have probably noticed by now that the music in the background is not the in-game music. As you know, I like the in-game music. Not everybody else. I mean, you play hours and hours and hours of this game. It's only got the single track. I can see how that could get tiring after a while. So, even though I am fine with the track, I figured why not throw on Something a little bit different. Something a little bit throwback, even. Also, I absolutely adore the old Mech Warrior soundtracks. They are literally some of the best soundtracks I've ever listened to in my life. I have spent hours and hours and hours with that music on in the background as I'm doing work, workouts, cooking dinners. Like, can't get enough of that stuff. I love it. So that's why that's running in the background. Hunchback's moving up. Enemy team might... That Jenner might be coming into sensor range this turn. It's hot nip. Oh, hello. I believe that's the quick draw, which means that guy is hustling. I'm a little surprised I haven't seen the Jenner. Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right, so Punch Club rules say we want to try and get undercover and not let them get lines of sight so that we can move up on them and punch. I think what I'm going to do is leverage the outcropping here and sneak around the left until I can start getting my lasers onto their targets. Might be a little bit more difficult for these guys. I they'll have to sprint to get over here, which is fine. I mean, we're still in the we're still in the positioning part of the match. No big deal. Although that quick draw is really, really hustling to get up to my line. Uh, Paradise, where are you? Paradise, can you sprint to get out of cover? Get out of or get you into cover. Yeah. That's a weird facing. I'm gonna just turn and face this wall. It's fine. We're just trying to get out of the lines of sight, so... Indirect fire! Hey, dodges. Eh, a couple of misses land. No big deal. No big deal. Nope. We want Mockingbird. We want Mockingbird to sprint, and we want Mockingbird to get behind cover. We want that quick draw to come out. He seems pretty eager to want to get up on top of us. We're going to give him that opportunity. Showboat. So the question is, where does she need to be to bait that quick draw down and still be close enough that she can get out on it in time while also staying in cover such that the quick draw doesn't get any shots off on her? This right here, this spot in front of the water, might be good enough. So we're going to put her there, and even if she's not, we are going to brace her. Because if that quick draw comes around the corner, it is probably going to focus on her. There's the victor. Light max. Okay, so far so good. Alright, so what we're going to do here, I don't actually want to move. 
kind of want to move. I kind of want to move blockade back. It looks like they're going to end up hitting me from two sides, and I want both of my sides to hit at the same time. So I'm actually going to move blockade back and get him here. I don't know if there's going to be any spots to stand and get a line of sight down into here from up here. I'll just have to find out. The rest of this team... gonna get close enough. Ooh, baby, is he gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Buddy, oh, buddy. Did you pick the wrong spot to show up what in? Can I do for you? All right, so... I conjectured a little bit of this. Would the gunnery skill of the pilot matter for the melee included small lasers? So she's got 65% chances to hit with all of those small lasers. I'm curious if we switch to Paradise, who has a better gunnery skill. Yes. So it does seem that to some degree, the gunnery skill of the pilot may influence the guns fired during a melee attack. Which makes sense. I am okay with this. This just means that our Punch Queen showboat here is not leveraging her lasers quite as much as we would want. That said, she also has no options for where to move. And I'm not gonna turn off any lasers because I got the heat for it. This is let's see let's see how dumb this goes. So we throw the punch. She's good with that. Nice solid hit to the torso. Disco ball. Wow, wow. Okay, landed a few. Landed a few. Landed a few and also shook the crap out of that guy. Here come the indirect missiles. No big deal. Yeah, that's good. That's what we like to see in Blockade. Alright, so. Paradise. What do we got for options? We can. Oh, that camera, man. Stand there, stand there. These are both front arc. We could get behind it. What does that give up? So... There's the Jenner there that is a legitimate threat to the backside of any mech of any tonnage. We've got the Victor there. Where is their fourth mech? Their fourth mech continues to dawdle. And it leaves me wondering. Alright, so regardless, that fourth mech is so far out of... It's not even in sensor range, so it's not going to be a threat to my rear. It's just that Jenner. If that Jenner comes down to try and exploit my rear armor, I can turn my mechs on it, and this just turns into a fracas. So I think... <sighs> Quickdraw's right side is damaged. I'm only going to get either front or back. So I'm going to take the back. Which is interesting. The game is actually saying I'm getting its right side from there. That's a little weird. I'm going to take it regardless, because this should be real stupid, no matter where I position him. But I'll walk right through. Kick him in the back rear CT. And let's go with the disco ball. Wow! Just just ruining that quick draw. I was a little afraid I'd have to really, really gang up on things here, but woof. Woof. Um, Mockingbird. The only one left. I really want that Victor to move up before I move up on it, so we'll let it move first. And it didn't get... It did get line of sight. It's guarded and entrenched. I think it moved and braced, which is not what I expected. Alright, so Mockingbird. I do want you to just continue to break line of sight. Can this break line of sight? Yes. Cool. Alright, so... We are also going to brace. And that Victor is going to have to come around the corner. 
Let's see if this Jenner tries to do what I expected. Uh, I get the feeling these AI pilots were like, hey, we're going to march forward, and oh, crap, hunchbacks. And apparently the memo did not get out fast enough. You know, radio communications are lost tech. Uh, let's see. Showboat is probably going to tear this Jenner a complete new one. She, again, doesn't get any position choices to move to. This is from the Jenner's right side. Even with a bunch of coin flips, hey, you flip a coin enough times, some way. of them are going to come up your way. Kick to the side torso. Takes it completely off. Got some misses and dodges, but we did open up at CT. Alright, so we are in such good position at this point. The occasional missiles. I think... I think I'm just gonna 1v1 the rest of this match, maybe? I mean... If I turn around with one of these hunchbacks, it is going to murder this Jenner. That is just clear to me. That is no, there is no question in my mind. I think... I think I am emboldened in this, and I am going to do something I don't normally do, which is split the team. I'm going to have Paradise go hunt down that I damn understand. fourth mech, because it refuses to move up and engage. I'm going to have two of my mechs move up on that Victor, since, I mean, it's heavier. It deserves a fair fight. We're still going to let it move to me first. And, yeah, so Blockade and Mockingbird, they're going to move out to take the victor over here. Showboat's going to finish this Jenner next turn, or, or at least we're going to try. Paradise is going to hunt down this guy. Holy, did he even come off their spawn? It almost, like, their spawn has to be back here, so maybe two turns worth of movement, and then he stopped? Boy. That's rough. Alright, nope. We we'll want the victor to go first. I'm gonna have to at least move one. Alright, so. Blockade. What do you need? Make him come to me. Move into position. I'm gonna move up, but. Alright, got some line of sight. Uh, brace. Victor's gonna get a move and a shot. That much is clear. Oh. Wait a minute. Did the victor just stand in place? The victor did just stand in place. That's actually kind of amazing. Or cowardly. I'm not actually sure. He's like, uh... My buddies are getting wrecked. I guess I'll just stand here? That's what happened. It literally just stood there didn't move to engage. Alright, so Showboat's gonna have to... Yeah, you're fine. You can take some hits. Showboat's gonna move up on that guy. That Jenner is screwed every which way, including sideways. Um, yeah, because we can get into melee range and work him. Uh, let's see. He lost his right side. I can't get to the right side. I can certainly get to the left. No reason not to go straight on. Hope to get the CT. If we were looking for salvage in a campaign game, we would want to core it out so we can save the couple of medium lasers in the one arm. Just thinking about it. Wait a minute. Did I misclick? Shoot. I misclicked. Well. We're not going to get the melee, because I misclicked. But we can at least fire all these small lasers. It's dead. Even with her somewhat suspect gunnery skill. Throw enough darts at a target, you're eventually bound to land one of them. In this case, a handful of them. Alright. I really, really want these hunchbacks over here to get up in melee with this victor. Wow. Blockade.
blockade is not gonna give this guy a good time. Throw the punch. It's good for 80. Took it on the arm. Disco ball. Oh, boy, howdy. Could we spread those lasers around anymore? We spread those lasers just about as widely as we could. Mockingbird. I want you to do the same. This time she can get... Is that a rear arc? Uh, regardless, she can't actually get there, so... I can't I can't see to she has enough movement for me to see if that would end up being a rear arc. Punch to the leg. Light him up. Alright, worked that side pretty good. We opened up basically everything on that side. That's good. Alright, Paradise. Hunt this. Hunt this guy down for crying out loud. Alright, so we need to move down kind of through here, I think. So, sprint to there, face that direction. Just find the guy for crying out loud. They didn't know they were coming into Punch Club. They certainly found out soon enough. Although, is the victor going to join us in Punch Club? No. He's going to try and take my back. Whiff with the AC-20 land a couple of lasers. You're fine, Mockingbird. Keep it together. Crying out loud. Alright. Showboat. Waiting for orders. Almost kind of want to hold her in reserve, because depending on how things go, this Victor may just eat it from Mockingbird and Blockade. Is she going to get close enough to fire the lasers? Oh, I sprinted. Yeah, wouldn't have mattered. This guy in the back has a weird sense of uh, I'm priority. All right, so blockade. I'm here. What are you giving me? You're giving me front, right. Oh, I get my choice: front, right, or left. Uh, let's keep working the right. You know what they say, you know. You get in under your boxing and get a guy's arm. You may as well keep working it. Or leg in this case. Keep working that side. Wear him down. Oh. Pew, 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 pew. Right torso. Right torso destroyed twice. We hit it so hard, we destroyed the right torso twice. Mockingbird, can you finish the job? The blockade started. Boy, howdy. It's got 95 CT structure. But the only way she doesn't kill it is if she happens to hit everything that's not that CT. Ooh boy. Do some work. Oh, that was the CT with the kick. That's bad for him. Because all these lasers. One of those is found in the CT. Oh, and we killed the oh, we killed the cockpit too. <sighs> yeah, that guy probably didn't sign up for what he got. All right, paradise. And you can help by getting out on this guy for crying out loud and making him regret, regret his life decisions. Wow, it was the Kentaro. That's. That is just a flub on the AI's part. That Kentaro should have been pushed up. Doing this. Doing this every turn. Smothering me with SRMs and LRMs. And a couple of lasers. Yeah, boy, are you. Hey, hey, hey. Paradise. You're finally in punching range. Boy, are you in punching range. Ooh. Who needs inspiration when all of your hits can just line up to be 90% plus? It's on the right torso. Punch. Let loose with the disco ball. Eh, kind of spread it around a lot. But I have every faith that uh, Paradise is probably going to end up finishing this guy before the rest of mine can show up.
So some of you that are listening, watching this video, probably have noticed that the music has been cutting in and out a little bit. I am trying to stream it from YouTube. And clearly, the internet is being what it is. I will see, because I do have the soundtracks floating around here, I will see if I can get them just plugged into the computer so that there's no breaks in the music. Because the music is great, and it annoys me when it breaks up like that. But as with everything here at Usyk's Paper Pushing Headquarters, it's mostly experimental. We never... We... We test our designs in the field. Oh, hello. Knockdown. There's a time and place for testing, and that's in live fire conditions. Paradise, get up and work this guy. This time, maybe, maybe focus those lasers down a little bit. Get no option to move, so we'll just take our 70%. Probably could have thrown inspiration on that, but I mean, let's be honest. This is just so much a fourth at this point. Even if we do spread the man, wow, that is so many lasers. This guy's got maybe a turn or two at most. Uh hey. Let's let's get moving. Because if it weren't for these other mechs showing up. It's down a side torso, fighting against a dedicated melee mech build. Got it. Rule number one about engaging enemy targets, don't engage them at their optimal ranges. Yes, Commander. And uh, my optimal range is standing on your face, punching it into oblivion, so this guy's... this Kentaro is... Clearly out of position. Although it's not going to go down without a fight. Fire off all those SRMs. Some good damage. In. Get lucky and hope for head hits. Uh, Paradise, can you finish the job for me? Now that you don't have that penalty from standing up. Oh, I punched at the leg. We're in the middle. Oh, got some crits on some SRM sixes. Very nearly destroys the Kentaro with only fifteen with only fifteen structure on the CT. Any one of those lasers that went slightly astray could have done the job. Uh, let's give this to Mockingbird to finish. Oof. Let's give this to Mockingbird with inspiration to finish up the job <laughs> because we're, we just want to end this. This is this is embarrassing for the other team. Punch Club continues to prove that melee... Oh, I didn't even need the lasers. Just crush the center torso with that foot. And that's Punch Club Episode 2. Victorious as per usual. My max basically undamaged. Paradise took a hit to the arm, some armor got scrubbed off. That's fine. Nobody lost any equipment. Face rolled the other team. 10 rounds, 23 minutes. Enemy forces. This quick draw just, just got worked. Just worked from behind. This victor got completely gang beat and then this Jenner and this Kentaro just they did not they did not sign up for what they got what they got was liberal application of melee attacks and all of the small lasers ever so there you go punch club episode two here on BattleTech in the morning I am captain nips as always a pleasure and an honor I'll see you all next time